Hello, my name is Santosh. Welcome to the part 2 of Adobe Experience Manager Learning. This is a lesson 2 AEM Components and Inheritance. After this session, you will get understand enough what exactly component is, basic understanding of component structure and their configuration. Understand when you need to create a new component or you can inherit the basics from an existing components or from out of the box component. At the end of this session, you will able to create new component by yourself. Speaking about a components, the first thing you need to understand what a component it stands for in AEM. In this slide, you see a list of features of a typical custom components. Let's highlight some of them. Component is a modular unit that fulfills specific functionality to display a certain content on a website. It is reusable and designed to be able to contain other components. Component is developed as a self-contained unit within one folder of the repository. They can be limited to run and posted under specific components. Components use widgets for building edit dialogs. Let's dive it deeper. So, each AEM component has a resource type, has a number of scripts, that completely fulfill a business function often used to render uh, the content of a resource when the resource is a page the component rendering it is called a top level component or a page component the key element of the structure is a resource type this is an abstract that helps to ensure that even though the look and feel changes over time, intentional remains the same. The definition of component can be broken as follows. AEM standard components are of a, a CQ component primary type and have the key elements. Uh, JCR properties. As a name suggests, it is a list of a list of properties most of the time they are used to hold the content data resources that defines static element used by a component scripts used to implement the behavior of the resulting instance of a component most of node store properties requires to define a component are the same for both types of AEM interface with different uh, differences remaining independent so that your component can work in both for example jcr title this is a component title for example used as a label when the component is listed in the component browser or sidekick description description for the component can be used as a mouse over hint in the component browser or sidekick Resource super type indicates the path of inheritance when extending a component. If you look a typical page in AEM, uh, we can see that a page is assembled from a blocks or set uh, set of components, as you can see on this slide. So let's take a look a component is in repository uh, first of all uh, you need to know that component which was implemented by adobe's previous version of cq are also stored inside a repository edit content contents is not pretty code uh, it contains the scriptlet and so on so let's have a look into the component 
so this is actually as you see is the repository and the foundation out of the box components are resides under the lips wcm components and these are the basic components provided by the adobe so it has for example the text component <coughs> it has basic actually the properties that you can see here is jcr title and some resource super type which is actually inheriting to uh, foundation components okay and let's create one basic component for in our apps for our project so it is uh, in the previous session i was created one of the training project and in that i have simply created one of the demo component which has just the text let's look at that so here it is i will again drag and drop the new component which is already available here so this is the demo component and here we have one uh, dialogue also you can get it the, that value if you can just take a look at the component level you can see the jcr title is a discrete uh, uh, it's a, a property and yeah here it is uh, what is the purpose of this jcr title if you can just take a look here and demo yeah so here it is demo component uh, we don't see any descriptions right now so if you can just add the descriptions and refresh the page <clears throat> So here you go. You can see the demo as a description as we have already added here. <clears throat> so there are uh, similar, there are different kinds of uh, properties. You can see those uh, in the Adobe's documentation. I always prefer these documentation. So you, if you can just scroll this on the page, I will provide this link on the description. So if you can just over the page and yeah, you see there are different what kind of a properties and what kind of a node, etc. will be allowed on that uh, component level. Okay. So how you create, it's the basic way of creating the component is just simply create, uh, create a component as you see here is a, creating the components and provide the details of that component and click me that's it so here your component will be created and okay so i have created one dialog here as you see so let's render that value so what to do for that it's to just render that value as you see the name of uh, this property is text so let me save this and yep you can see the value is rendered over here that's all about the am basic about uh, components and uh, there is actually one more thing i would like to mention while when you are working uh, on the real time project at that time you must be facing uh, some uh, not exactly the issues but i can say to uh, how can we work faster uh, progressive work so there are actually the multiple ways you can actually uh, this component can uh, synchronize with your file system uh, that is uh, in the previous uh, session i was mentioned one of uh, one of the tool file uh, eclipse 
uh, Eclipse uh, uh, file system so that you can also use over there apart from that there are multiple ways like web web pack also uh, is one of the good example but what i do is my favorite way i would just uh, this is actually the training uh, training project and as you can see there is no demo component because i have just created into the crxd by using crxd and uh, yeah this is my component what i do is simply just create a directory structure over there uh sorry not package but mm, uh maybe package i don't see that directory so yeah i have created the directory and just until your vault and pull it so you can see uh whatever that in the crxd the component we have created that has been synchronized with your file system so you can either edit over here uh, you can see everything is actually uh, the dialog is uh, imported into the xml format and uh, yeah so here your uh, demo html file as well so this just this is just uh, to speed up your work and uh, yeah that's it let's switch back to our presentation <laughs> okay next so on the page uh, it is initialized with the set of components uh, and uh, it's difficult to understand where these components are and which creates uh, uh, render this component so we have one solution for that in order to understand this uh, it's possible to use a flag that is query string parameter uh, debug is equals to layout to get additional resource information for each component like for example in the picture you can see let's go to the example so here if you want to see which component is rendering onto the page just put the query string parameter onto the url of the page debug layout and there you can see which component uh which component is uses on the page okay so there is an interesting question so what is that do you need to create your own component from a scratch or uh, can you inherit the basics from an existing component so well there is no need to uh, reinvent the wheel there are several mechanisms provided by AEM to allow you to inherit and extend details from another component definition this includes override overlay and the sling resource merger let's revise which options do we have in terms of inheritance sling resource super type to define parent component by hierarchy define necessary files under apps folder instead of libs the main disadvantages of this approach that you will override out of uh, out of the box components for uh, for all projects on your am environments and can lead to the issues uh, for multi-module environments because requirements can be different between modules and resource uh, sling resource merger the new way of inheritance in touch ui there are two primary features to help you reuse and customize components in aem to overlay a resource using the configured search paths or to override components dialog using the resource type hierarchy 
so what does each of them mean when you recreate a component from lips and creating exactly the same structure under apps that is called overlaying a component the idea is in following aem has several fallback paths when resolving relative resource type marking first it looks in apps then it goes to lips example use case you are not satisfied with default behavior of an uh, out of the box console and we will like to customize it on the other hand when you create a component and set its resource super type value to another path component you inherits all its configuration parents uh, its all configurations like for uh, parents html css js and etc implicitly used by new components so uh, what you need to do is recreate the uh, spe specifically file uh, you would like to override and implement desired behavior that is called override so creating custom components is necessary because standard components cannot cover all the functional requirements adobe provides standard components within the system they are located under lips wcm foundation components as i shown you before the most popular components from the standard list are page components this is a particular type of uh, resource which is important for content management parses which stands for paragraph system used as a container for other components parbase this is a key component that allows components to inherit attributes from other components similar to subclasses in uh, object oriented languages adobe special hub acs commons provides you with number of aem components that reflects the most common business needs there are several points that will make you to considering using them core components reduce time to market with over 30 easy to style and productions ready components that are configurable in template style system create visual variations of web components with zero backend development there is one link uh, i'll be going to provide into the description in the article so there you can see the library of component so it is aem core components um, the adobe is going to update keep keep updating uh, the core components so all you have to do is just uh, clone this project or just uh, download this uh, zip file and as you can see i have already downloaded here and deployed in, uh, everything has it's mentioned how to deploy and etc onto the article so you have to just deploy on your local machine as i did so here you go uh, so simple is uh, there there are different core components which you can uh, re uh, they are ready to use so for example here it is as you see in the demo uh, all the comp core components after this project deployment on my local machine and there is public uh, <clears throat> yeah, public url also provided by the adobe that is aem components dot dev there you can see the different type uh, of uh, components for example let's navigate one of them title component there you can see the properties markup of that component json etc so i'll be going to provide these uh, links into the descriptions of article so you can just go through them okay let's switch back to our presentation so uh their state of the art components that reflects basic business needs 
they help you to boost product and in increments on an early stage of development the best practices implemented and test coverage is on the level and uh, pay attention the required aem version 6.3 plus and java 8 plus the components important feature uh, that is the core components important feature is proxy pattern what this uh, pattern basically does regarding this core component making sure that your custom components refer to a base core components rather than uses it directly because site specific uh, separation is refract, uh, refactoring and makes pages flexible so next is we have the demo that's what actually i have shown it to you on the demo about how to deploy the core components on your local machine and uh, the aem components dev well that's all for aem components hope you enjoyed the video in the next part we will take a look at dialogue thank you